Is it time now for Chicago, Rex, to officially Breathe, Rex. make Breathe. the move to starter? I mean, this is unbelievable here. I mean, you, you look at this. This organization blows me away. Like, you come in. Uh, what organization tells Andy Dalton, you know, basically guarantees them, hey, look, you sign with us, mm. we're going to start you. Because based on what? How horrible he played for Dallas last <laughs> right. year? Is that why you're going to bring in Andy Dalton? Look, Andy Dalton's never been more than an adequate quarterback. How many playoff wins do he have, Dan? That's right, zero. Zero playoff wins. So why wouldn't you guarantee him a starting job? Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. And look, they did I want to praise Chicago for trading up, finding a way to trade up to get this special talent at right. quarterback. Then why the hell aren't you playing them? I don't understand it. Look, your job as a coach is to get I, – I, I don't want to hear this. He's not ready to play. Well, you know what? If he's not ready to play, it's your own dang fault. Mm -hmm. So your okay. job as a coach is okay. to get all your players ready to play. Look, I, I'm no uh, you know, genius, but I think I had a rookie quarterback, Mark Sanchez, ready to play. Okay. I all remember right. that. Sure. I, I mean, we, we did – you know, win three straight games to start a season. I know it's impossible to win a game with a rookie quarterback. <laughs> I think we went to a championship. I guess they just gifted that to you. And then, you know what? Geno Smith. All right, Geno Smith was ready to play. We won that opener. Yeah. You know, and so to me, it's like your job, get your players, the whole team ready to play. And if your quarterback's not ready to play, look in the mirror, pal. This kid right here is a mm. special talent. Uh, maybe, maybe they just said, Al, maybe they're like, you know what? That's Aaron Donald over there, dude. Let's play Andy well, Dalton. Yeah, get was, him crushed. Was... So based on what you saw, if you're Matt Nagy, what's it going to take for you to say, I'm going to have to go with Justin? This conversation's not going anywhere. So. Well, first off, I couldn't be Matt Nagy because if I was Matt Nagy, <laughs> Justin Fields would have started this game hey, against man. the Los Angeles Rams. Hmm. So I can't even put myself in his position because I wouldn't be in the position that he's in. But when you look at what Justin Fields can bring, I was excited when I saw him come in in the red zone. I was yeah. like, oh, they have a package for him. They're going to use him on more than just one play. And then as the game progressed, I was like, wait, hold up. This is not it. Yeah. It, it, it was head scratching, like Dan scratching his head, and he ain't got dandruff. You know, and so like that's the so that's the thing you start to wonder. Okay, Chicago Bears, you move up, you draft this great talent. Matt Nagy, you understand you're coaching for your job. Why wouldn't you use a guy that you can be more diverse in your play calling, mm -hmm. that gives you an opportunity to get some mm -hmm. special plays that Andy Dalton does not? And so I'm confused. To me, you go in the meeting tomorrow and you say, you know what, guys, I made a mistake. Justin Fields is my starter this week. What do you think as far as how they're using Justin Fields? Because I know you were frustrated, not just that they didn't use him, but how they used him. Yeah, um, what and why? What yeah. are we doing and why are we doing it? We talked about the second down play that he comes into the red zone. I loved it. I was surprised by it. And then he gets the completion. I wanted them to get to the line of scrimmage quickly and utilize a quarterback run, a zone read, an RPO, get him on the perimeter to catch the defense off guard, off balance, because then it's going to be a walk-in touchdown. But it felt like it was just going to check a box. So, Dan, oh, you th are, yeah. are, you thinking, are you thinking right in that situation it's better to go two plays in the huddle 100%. and come right back out? Yeah, you're, if, if I'm going to go, if I'm the coach, I'm going to go, here's our two plays if we get a completion. Okay. If we don't get the completion, maybe there's a different plan. But if we get to com the, get the completion – and you get seven or eight yards, shoot, then we're in third and three or something like right. that, and the quarterback run is way more, and the defense is so unprepared for it. I'm going to set the personnel on the field that I want for the third down play, right. hit the easy completion on second down, and then I'm going to look like a brilliant head coach. <laughs> right. But you don't want to be smart. He don't want to be smart. Yeah, you not. know what I'm saying? It's right. almost like we just wanted to check a box of, oh, we got Justin a little bit of time. You know, like, it, w this will appease the fans for a little bit, and that's my – what are we doing and why? Bottom line is this. The reason Pete Carroll is a Super Bowl champion is because they went out, they got Matt Flynn. They gave him $10 million guaranteed. You draft Russell Wilson in the third round, and throughout the preseason, you realized he was the best chance Correct. to win football games. Right. He becomes the starter as a rookie, eventually wins a championship. That's the type of decision Matt you Nagy should have made. You can't play a rookie quarterback. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.